Hello, Fano. So I am heading home from work. Um, I was coming back on to tell you guys about the burger that I made with the keto bread. Now, the, not really a keto bread. It's just almond flour. Um, 90 minutes. Minutes? Second. 90 second bread. So, easy as um, it's It's that bread and then inside it I put, because it's like heaps of butter on it already from cooking it, um, and the inside, so you put a tablespoon of butter into a flat bottomed dish, um, I usually use like a ramekin or a round sistema um, bowl, it's perfect, and I usually use a round one because then I can cut it in half make a burger or a square one if I want to make a sandwich so this burger had that um, so a tablespoon of butter put that into the microwave to melt it's about 30 seconds give or take with your um, depending on the strength of your microwave um, then you take it out put a half a teaspoon of baking powder I think it's two tablespoons of, oh, you mix the baking powder around and you put one, two, I'm pretty sure it's two tablespoons of almond flour, mix that around and one egg and mix that all around until it's a batter and then you bung that into the microwave for 90 seconds, boom, pull it out and so what I did is I cut it in half and I put it in the toaster. And it sat really well. It sat really well. I ate it too fast last night though, so um, tummy got a bit sore. So in the inside, what did I do? I had mince, just straight up mince, and I chucked that in the pan. Um, and then I flipped it, chucked, put some seasoning on it, which consisted of uh, garlic powder and onion powder. And then I flipped it over, onion powder, garlic powder, and then a piece of um, ch a cheese slice, and then I let that cook. And then on the bun, after I toasted it, I put mayo, light mayo on one side. Didn't need butter, because there's plenty of butter in the ramekin, so I didn't need the butter. Light mayo. And then I put the patty and the cheese and then on top of that I put the spicy barbecue sauce, uh, it's minta, and then I put the topping on top. Oh, sorry, I put a little bit of creamed power inside it as well, yo, was me, oh, 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 and it sat really well, so the plan here on is to use the keto bread. That is not a very good angle for my skin and ears. <laughs> but that's the plan. So it's another beautiful day today. I will be going home and having a sleep. Um, sorry about the reflection and the, the shadow because that's what happens when the sun is on me. I cannot see. So, we'll just do that. Um, the sun is shining. But, it was very yum. Um, and also, on the way home, I had one dum sum. Um, dim sum, dim sum. Um, it took me like from it took me probably about 10, 15 minutes to eat it. Easy. Um, but yeah. So, the mind game continues. It was nice. I just have to learn that I've got to eat slow. I can eat things, I just have to eat them slow. So I worked it out. It's 8 weeks post-op, 10 weeks post 
pre-op if that makes any sense and I've had a total of 24 kgs it's not budging on the scales the scales are teasing me y'all so we'll see what happens uh, I just I won't weigh myself for a little bit and I'll see what happens hopefully I get out of the hundy club that'll be nice um, so anyway I'm nearly home I just wanted to tell you guys that I about my burger that I said I was gonna have I didn't put any greens in it because um, can't quite tolerate those at the minute but I do need to plant my tomatoes before I forget and they get all yuck so yeah okie doke See, oh, see, now there's no reflection. Oh, my goodness. Okay, see you later.